Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all, and thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, guess what? Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, that'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need, or you can just go directly to the website, which is going to be X E L O H H dot com. You can come here for all your beat needs all your graphic needs and all your mixing and mastering needs and that's x-e-l-o-h-h dot com hey guys man welcome back to the page man i'm glad you came back um i'm actually going to go over uh, complete control with you guys and kind of show you some of the things that you can actually do inside here this is a sampler that i wish cakewalk had installed for itself but you know, sometimes you gotta do third party. It is free to download. So let's go along for the ride and show you what it does. All right. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my dark theme. And if you do want this theme, the link will be below in the description. So you can actually download that. Uh, if you have issues actually installing, I have a video showing you how to install themes as well. So let's get right along into this uh, setup. So I'm gonna go into the uh, plus sign here. And I'm going to go to instrument and we're going to click on complete control. All right. And I just want to um, make a couple of them. So I'm going to do five and hit create. All right. So complete control is on here now. I'm just going to pull one up and this is what it looks like. So once you actually get in complete control, there's so many different things you can actually do in here. Um, First thing you want to kind of look at is um, over here is, is the, um, the beats per minute and this is your volume control for your complete control. So the tempo is set by whatever your DAW is set to. So let's change this. Let's go uh, 140 and boom, it changes to 140 down here too. Uh, you can set up MIDI so you actually learn your knobs on your actual controller in here really really dope you just turn the knob and it should actually learn what it actually is trying to do and here is where you would actually have your sound so you can use the drag and drop one or you can actually find a sound or a sample so i'm going to go to my cymatics folder and i'm going to use this uh, fantasy synth sample pack this is um all the ones i've downloaded from cymatics they are all free uh, Definitely go to the site, check it out, cymatics.com. Um, so I'm gonna do the one shots here and they have a whole bunch of different one shots that you can actually use. Let's use this, pluck wood. All right, so in here you can actually change the pitch and the tune of it. Uh, you have a option for a one shot, attack, hold, and decay. And you have uh, ADSR for attack, decay, sustain, and release. You have your loop option. You can set loops in here. And boom, you have your loop in here. So once I play it, if you hear all that clicking in there, you usually go to your fade and kind of turn this up just so it'll actually uh, stop making uh, the clicking sound on there. See, that's a lot better just from doing the fade on there but yeah you can do it for any any sample that you actually put in here you have your start time and you have your end time so you can just make the sample shorter if you want to you cut the sample up um, you can actually add effects right here this little plus sign gives you an option to add your effects I don't have everything set up in here I usually use the effects from uh, cakewalk but um, you can actually set them up inside of complete control on the standalone version just add them on there and you should be able to have uh, more effects all right and um hit on this little knob tuning thing right here uh, and this will give you an option to do your legato mode if you go up it says legato you have your glide you have your pitch bin and this engine is basically like having mpc60 or like a sp1200 um, different sounds that it'll actually make when you're uh, using it for certain things like drums and stuff like that. So you have a pitch envelope. So this basically, this envelope is this right down here. This is pretty much the same. 
gives you an option to reverse in here as well. So you can actually do a reverse. ADSR is this ADSR down here, attack, decay, sustain, and release. All those are the same. Uh, you have an effects filter. These uh, filters usually are set up to do like your, your um, this is a compressor for it, your drive, and uh, this is to change your like hertz and things. This is for the, the bit depth, bit depth of the sound. And you have a filter on here as well. You have uh, modulation. So you, um, usually these are made for the complete controller, the actual keyboard controller. So you can change different things in there. You have your LFO and your velocity and mod wheel stuff in here as well. Um, it does give you an option for these little notes right here at the top. And you can do scales in here as well. So it'll actually play a scale uh, with, with these sounds. And to turn them on, you will have to hit on this little scales thing. This little blue button will light up. And you'll see it up here and so that the scale it should be activated. All right. So you have a scales option and you have an ARP. So you can actually hear the scale when you actually turn on the ARP. So if I turn on the ARP, it's going up. Uh, and you can have an option to go up and down or the order that is played in or the chord. You have also a note repeat, so we'll just keep repeating that same note. And you have your rhythm here and a sequence. So it gives you a, a different pattern. And of course you have a swing, so you can swing uh, to make it change. You have your octaves that you can add, you have dynamics and a gate on here as well. And you have an advanced option. So you can re-trigger, you can do a repeat, you can offset the notes by however many you want to offset it. You can invert the notes and do an inversion. So all of these are actually in here for you to actually use. This is your range for your keys. So it even has a built-in ARP scales and all that in here for complete control. So you can just do whatever you want to do with this actual uh, sampler. So let's use that. Let's just uh, record something real quick. So I'm going to close out this. So these are the notes that it actually played. I think this is the note I actually hit. So I delete that. And I'm going to go back into complete control. I'm going to turn off the ARP and the scale on here. And let's go on to another complete control. Um, so we have an empty one here. Let's actually just drag and drop some stuff in here. So I'm going to go into, let's use that one. So I can just drag and drop samples in here as well. So I don't need to actually go and um, look through it and through here. I can just pull it straight from wherever. If Even if you have the, um, the band lab assistant open you can just drag and drop it in here to actually load it up in here so now i have my hi-hat and i can go so now what i can do is grab this make sure this loop point is set at the right place and now i can just do a control and d and duplicate those hi-hats I was going to drag the clap onto here as well. So let's go and do a clap. Right, it's going to grab a kick as well and put that in here. So.
as you see, you can just put your drums in here, real simple. Um, so let's say you want to do some rolls in your hi hats. You hit the T, your tool. Click on that. Let's set this to uh, one sixty fourth. So, and now what you want to do is you can just hit on that and uh, hold down shift. Just do an angle going down, hold down shift, angle going down. And you could probably just, yeah. So, it gives you that option to do the hi-hat rolls as well so let's say that you wanted to um, do an 808 as well so I'm just gonna create one more and I'm gonna actually do it from the one I already have the 808 that's tuned I'm gonna change this back to uh, 116 so I can kind of see where to play stuff and I'm gonna turn the tool back on to the smart tool. So I'm gonna go inside of the 808. I'm gonna turn off this ADSR for right now and do a one shot. And uh, of course, for the 808, you can actually have it on, I have it on legato, I have it on a glide. So it'll glide up to that note. And I'm gonna put back the pitch bin to three. And let's go. up an octave all right so now I'm um, gonna actually set it to back to ADSR mode and I'm um, gonna do a legato on here so I'm gonna strip this last one and go to this one uh, alt L enter and set those to legato and just pull the first one out
And that, my friends or folks or people, that is complete control inside of Cakewalk. I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, this, could, this could even be like your first beat you ever make in Cakewalk. Just using cymatic samples and complete control and that's it. And, and you have a complete beat if you want to actually do that. But um, yeah, I guess this is it. Uh, thank you guys for actually watching. If you have watched this far, definitely like and subscribe to the channel. I have more videos like this coming. Uh, once again, it's your boy X.E.L.O. Till the next time, y'all. Peace.